Hey guys, welcome back to Masik Samamde channel. So in today's video, I am going to teach you how to find the area between the cow and the given line. Aita, so idu baradu three marks ke applications of integrals. Three marks ke same idhe tarah questions barate. So nimgya beka ke do basic knowledge. Kena the curve yau tarah barate. For example, only parabola. But in yau do curve korala, ellipse korala, la hypergola korala, la circle korala. For three marks, or korado do bari parabola. So parabola curves hang barate. Aro do na intel ko mitre. In just five minutes, you can solve this problem. Not even five minutes, just two or three minutes. डिफरेंट टाइपोलाक्वेशन कर्वल Okay, the curve for y is equal to 4x square will be like this, and the curve for x is equal to 4y square. X is equal to 4y square will be like this. The curve will be symmetric along the x-axis, and the curve for y is equal to 4x square will be symmetric along the y-axis, and the curve for the per, uh, equation y is equal to minus 4x square will be like this. Along the y-axis, but opposite, negative y-axis. The curve will be symmetric to the negative y-axis, and x is equal to minus y square. Curve will be symmetric to negative x-axis. E simple knowledge. Nimgi gote dre. E simple concept. If you know this, definitely you can solve any problem coming for three marks from applications of derivatives. Ma, hangi dena easya net pit kora dona dena dre. If you want a trick, just square yau the killa. स्क्वायर इली वाई ये का एक्स दे स्क्वायर याव द किल्ला वाई किल्ला सो कर्व विल बी सिमेट्रिक अलोंग वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर वाई स्क्वायर स्क्वायर याव द किल्ला एक्स द कर्व विल बी सिमेट्रिक अलोंग द एक्स एक्सिस इली स्क्वायर याव द किल्ला वाई बट नेगेटिव सो सिमेट्रिक अलोंग द नेगेटिव वाई एक्सिस स्क्वायर याव द किल्ला एक्स बट नेगेटिव इधर सो इट विल बी Symmetric to the negative x-axis. That's all. Very simple. So now let's solve the problems on that. Find the area of a region. Find the area of a region. Bounded between, bounded between x square is equal to four y, x square is equal to four y, and y is equal to two y is equal to four in first quadrant. So this is your question. You have to find the area of a region bounded between x square is equal to four y and y is equal to two y is equal to four in the first quadrant. So first of all, let me draw the diagram. Analyzing power, analytical power is very important in such kind of problem. Without drawing, you cannot solve the problem. So without the figure, right? So now x square is equal to four y. Hang by the square. Yau the killa y. Of course, it will be symmetric along the y axis curve hinge varutte yav rathu idu curve x square is equal to 4y and y is equal to 2 hinge varutte on y is equal to 2 on the y axis on 2 on the y axis draw a line parallel to the x axis so this will be y is equal to 2 then y is equal to 4 and right on y axis go to 4 draw a line parallel to x axis this will be a Y is equal to four. So now, what is the region bounded between these two lines on the curve? A area. Now, you find mark beko. And they have asked you to find only in the first quadrant. That means you just have to find this area. That's all. How in a row? Find the full area. And the correct no problem at all. This area is equal to this area because they are symmetric. Hello, symmetric. And of course, this area will be equal to this area. You want the area find mark? You can multiply two to that. 
okay very simple but namge illi one day area find madakirudu in first quadrant so let us find only this area so now tell me ee area ellinda elli varagu extend agide so on the area ide for example ee tara area ide okay ee area ee point inda ee point varagu extend agide alva it is extended from y is equal to 2 to y is equal to 4 So it is extended from y is equal to two to y is equal to four. Because my area is another e that I draw, and you know what is x and what is x here. You can use x is equal to two to x is equal to four. But now really x can be another sort of question. Tell me, is it not? So we know y is equal to two to y is equal to four. Area is extended from y is equal to two to y is equal to four. So yeah, limit the other one. Tell me, is it not? Now y. So you have to use d by y. Okay, if you 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 have have taken a limit with respect to to y, y y y to use use dy dy and you use x. I am teaching you very easy way and simple way, so don't yes. so don't the area again it is with respect to part, it is dy. So all those things are there in the theory. You just have to draw the line. Now the really the one in in with respect to the y. So you have to draw the two line which represents a small area. We are integrating that area, anta. So you don't want all those things. So it will just go with the flow, right? So e x in andre we cannot integrate x with respect to y. Is it not? So let me find out x from the given equation. What is x? X square is equal to four y. X is equal to root of four y. What is square root of four? Two. And what is square root of y? So you just leave it as square root of y only. So y is equal to two to four. What is x now? Two root y dy. That's all. Very simple. And two is a constant. You take out of the integration and limit two to four. You have to integrate. Y power one by two instead of keeping root one, you just write y is equal to one by two. So what's the integration of y power one by two? Y power three by two divided by three by two. Is it not one by two plus one divided by one by two plus one? What is one by two plus one? Three by two by three by two. So it is extended from two to four. Is it not plus some constants you can write or you can leave it as it is. No problem. So two into so when this three by two comes to numerator, it becomes reciprocal. Is it not? Now you apply the upper limit. What's the upper limit? Four, three by two, and minus lower limit two three by two. Okay. So now what is this? Two into two is four by three into. So you can simplify this. Is it not? So you can write this as four into one by two. Or the power of three. Yeah, usually you can write it as three by one by two as three into one by two or one by two into three. So I have written one by two into three. So no worry. Minus two. I write three first and then one by two here. So yeah. So four by three into what is the square root of four? One by two is nothing but square. What is the square root of four? Two. Cube minus or the cube root of uh, sorry cube of two a and it is square root. I write here. What is cube of two? So four by three divided into a minus root a. You can leave it as it is, or you can take do one thing. So you can write eight as root eight into root eight, then take root eight on common, or you can leave it as it is. But you have to write square units because we are finding what. Area for area writing square units is very important. Okay, very very important. So you can just follow this procedure to find the area between the curve and the line. So let me solve some other problem. One more problem and then end the session. So next they may give you like y square is equal to four x. Y square is equal to four x and X mark x is equal to two to x is equal to four. They may change you like this. So what you have to do exactly the same procedure you have to follow. Exactly the same procedure. So let me draw the figure. So let me draw the figure first. X square is equal to four x. Yeah, the case square is la x. So it comes along symmetric along the x axis. That is y square is equal to four x. Then x is equal to two hundred. On x axis go to two. Draw a line parallel to y axis. And x is equal to four hundred. Go to four. Draw a line parallel to y axis. X is equal to two. 
x is equal to 4. Find the area in the first quadrant. Okay, find the full area. Not first quadrant, cotillary. Find the full area on the cotillary. So, let me find one area. Multiply 2 to that. Okay, total area is equal to 2 times of this area. So, now, this area is extended from what to what? x is equal to 2 to x is equal to 4. Even x birthday. So, you can easily use the limit of x. Very simple. x is equal to 2 to x is equal to 4. Now, I am using a limit with respect to x. So, I have to use the x. So, you can use the line vertically like this. Part of x. Okay. Then, if you are using dx here, you have to write y. Okay. So, 2 into limit x to 2, 4. You have to take y from the given equation. That is nothing but root of 4x. Is it not? dx. So, this is equal to 2 times of square root of 4 is what? 2. That comes out 2 to 4 x power 1 by 2 dx. That is nothing but 4 into x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2, 2 to 4. Right? That is equal to when this 2, 3 by 2 comes to numerator, it reciprocals. So, 2 by 3. So, 4 power 3 by 2 minus 2 power 3 by 2. Is it not? So, exactly. So, 4 to the 8 by 3. Exactly how did we do last time? We get 8 here minus root 8 here. So, you can take 8. So, here you can make it as root 8 into root 8. And this is root 8. So, you can take 1 root 8 out. What happens? Root 8 minus 1 square units. You can leave it as it is like this. No worries. Yeah. So, this is how you find the area bounded with one curve and a line given. This is exactly come for 3 marks. Which 3 marks. Okay. So, if you are not a subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you so much.